All right, here's the thing. I know my fans are running, but it is about 90 degrees in my apartment right now, so if I turn my fans off, I am literally going to die. And while that might be great for my subs, I don't have confidence that Ghost Me is actually gonna be able to edit the video and get it up. Also, I'm gonna get so sweaty during this video. It's gonna be uncomfortable for you, it's gonna be uncomfortable for me. We're just, we're gonna do it, we're gonna get through it together. And yes, my nose is sunburned as well. Check this out. Ah! Wear sunscreen, kids. Hi, my name is Jackson Bird, and today I want to tell you the story of how I chose my name. I am going to be talking about, like, my actual name, but first, quickly, I want to announce that my channel URL has changed. It is no longer the stupid thing I came up with in high school. It is now Jack is not a bird, the same thing that is on all of my social media. It all matches, it's beautiful. I can just say Jack is not a bird and people can go follow me on anything. Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, you now, and now YouTube was almost a palindrome. You don't have to do anything different, you're still subscribed, or not subscribed, <laughs> as is more likely. YouTube just changed the URL for me, and it was very nice of them, and thank you so much, YouTube, for finally doing that for me. And now, on to the real video. If you're new around here, I am trans. The trans. So, I changed my name when I came out as a dude, and I'm currently going through the process of changing it all legally. All I have left is my passport, which I gotta do soon, because I'm going out of the country soon. And I'm making a much bigger video on the whole process there, as I've been documenting it. But today, I just want to talk about how I chose my name. Because deciding on which name to give myself was a, was a very long process for me, and it's something that I think most trans people find very intimidating, because it's like a weird thing to get to choose your own name. So in the beginning, when I was just a little baby, well, like a little toddler, I really liked the name Bill, because Bill was my favorite Power Ranger. I tried to get people to call me Bill, that didn't work at all. Then I started liking the name Michael, so I could be Mike. That seemed like a really cool name in the 90s, Mike. But then I had a cousin born who they called Michael, so that ruined that for me. And then I didn't really think about guys' names for myself until middle school, high school, when I created this alternate universe version of myself that I called Jack. So hearing that, and knowing that my name is presently Jack, you think that would be it. That'd be the end of it. Quick video. Cool story, bro. But no, uh, I didn't discover the possibilities of transition and realize that transgender was a thing that referred to me and how I felt until I was in college. And at that point, I had spent so much time daydreaming this Jack character and it was at such a low point during that discovery process in college that I was like, that Jack person, I just created this character who is far too good and, you know, ideal Mary Sue of a person to ever be who I am, so I can't use that name. So the first name that I decided to use when I was like on message boards and stuff, like experimenting with my identity was... Uh, this is so embarrassing. I think I've actually never told anyone this. The first name, I wanted it to be really close to my birth name, so I chose Larson, which yes, was based partially on Jonathan Larson who created Rent. So that's embarrassing, but it was, you know, it was very close to my birth name and it was kind of cool and I was into names that could maybe work for any gender, be kind of unisex names so that like, cause I never liked my birth name, like even as a girl's name, I just thought it sounded very dull. So I was kind of into the idea of maybe just changing my name, whether or not I transitioned to a binary male gender, but then I would kind of have a new cool name that I felt just fit me better. And then, <laughs> Then I went even more cringeworthy and thought that Link, as short for Lincoln, would be cool because I really liked Abraham Lincoln. And then also, as a trans person, I'd be like, the missing Link. In retrospect, <laughs> full body cringe attack. Although Link is a cool name. It's just like all of my reasons for Link were not cool. I was trying to find names that had the same initial as my birth name. I figured that would be easier when you're transferring documents over. And by the way, yes, it is because I ended up not doing that. It's just a lot easier to just start going by your first initial on official documents and stuff. Next name I came up with was Liam. Again, I was getting way too fanciful and cringeworthy in that I actually wanted my full name to be William and it would be shortened to Liam, because I really like William Shakespeare. I think I was just really thinking I wanted like a name that meant something, and I didn't feel like I had too many like male role models in my life that I really wanted to be named after and like liked their names, and so I was just really reaching with like historical figures I liked. And then Liam I wasn't really feeling, and I wanted to go for Luke, which I thought would be cooler, or maybe that was that was actually backwards. I did Luke first, and then I went to Liam. Oh, that's right. Luke I thought was really cool, because Star Wars. And just 
Sounds cool, it's a good name, but it wasn't really feeling like me. That's when I went to Liam. And around the time that I was kind of playing with Luke and Liam was when I came out to my mom, which was four years before I came out publicly. And one of the first things I asked her was, hey, what would you have named me if I had been born a boy? And she said there were a handful of names she would have named me. The first one that she remembered was Harrison, which is a cool name. I kind of like the name Harrison, but Harrison can so quickly be shortened to Harry. Now, if you don't know, I've spent the past seven years of my life working for an organization called the Harry Potter Alliance, and in fact, even make YouTube videos as Harry Potter. So I could not come out as male and change my name to Harry. It would just seem like I had fallen way too deep into some cosplaying. So that just wasn't an option. Also, never mind the fact that la my last name is Bird, and then my name would be Harry Bird, like a, a bird who needs to do some manscaping. Like, uh, no! No. And then a little bit later, she remembered another name that she had thought of for me was Carson. Carson was good. I like Carson. Carson could be unisex. So there was a really, really cool girl in one of my comp lit classes who was named Carson. And I was like, hell yeah, if I don't transition, I still want my name to be Carson because that's a badass name for either gender. And I went by Carson for a long time. Like, as I started coming out to more and more people in my life, that was the name that I was like, this is what it's gonna be. But you know, eventually it just, it wasn't feeling right. And as I got closer and closer to being like, I am definitely going to transition and I am going to transition to male, I want a name that is totally male. I didn't want a unisex name because I'd been hearing from other trans guys who had chosen unisex names to make that transition easier when you're in those like awkward years that it actually is harder when you have this like androgynous look but you're trying to be read as binary. One of the ways that people eventually gender you correctly is based on your name. And if your name is also androgynous, then it's just like, ugh. So a couple months before I started tea and came out publicly, I was with my mom and I only get to see her like maybe once a year. So it's like a big deal when in person and so I knew I was gonna take that time to let her know like hey I've decided I, I really am going to move forward with transitioning and come out and start hormones and I know you've always told me that there's like at least this one other name if not more that you were kind of considering when you were thinking about boys names for me when I was being born do you remember any of those because Carson just isn't feeling right and me personally I really liked the idea of my mom choosing my name, or my name being one that my parents had considered, because that took a little bit of the weight off of me having to choose it for myself, and as, as you can tell, I chose very cringeworthy reasons for choosing other names. And the other reason that I liked the idea of choosing a name that my parents had considered was because then it would be one that was like popular when I was born. This is a thing that happens to a lot of trans people, is we're always told you should try to choose a name that was popular when you were born, because a lot of the names that you might be tempted to choose are ones that are popular right now, and then that's kind of weird because you have a name that's like really popular for people 15, 20, 40 years younger than you, which there's nothing wrong with. I don't know, I guess it could be a little bit awkward. But it's also hard to choose a name that was popular when you were born because you have probably grown up around people with those names. And so you have all of these names that you don't want to choose because you know people with those names. So you have all of these like emotions and memories and whatever attached to them. Like if I met someone named Jack now, like that's fine, whatever. But it's different when you're like choosing the name and there are people in your life with that same name versus having the name and then meeting them later. But anyways, going back, so I asked my mom, what were those other names that you were considering? And she said she had just remembered one the other day and it was Jackson. And I heard that and I was like, Jackson? Then I could be Jack for short, but not just be Jack, because just Jack wasn't quite sitting with me. But Jackson, I really liked. I really liked the name Jackson. I felt it had a little bit of a Southern ring to it to kind of harken back to my Texan roots. Cause I didn't quite like the sound of Jack Bird that felt too short for me, but Jackson Bird sounds cool. That sounds like a director's name. But once I had my first name, then I had to decide on a middle name. <sighs> hey, Editing Jack here. This video ended up being super hella long, so I am going to be dividing it into two parts. Or two parts, not four. Part two is going to be how I chose my middle name, as well as some regrets that I have kind of had throughout the name change process. That'll be up in a couple of days. If it's already out, you can watch it right here in that general area, uh, and if it's not out yet, then click that link to go watch a stick of butter being melted at room temperature for a period of three hours. This might be a good time to make sure that you're subscribed so that you do not miss part two when it comes up. You can even ring that bell to make sure you get a notification when it goes up, and you can follow me on social media at Jack is not a bird on all the things including this here YouTube channel now. If you like this video and you want to support it, you can give it a thumbs up, you can share it with friends, you can even go to my Patreon and become a patron. Link 
down below. And in the comments today, I want to know what other names you've considered for yourself, whether you're trans or not. What other names have you always thought might be cool or that you regret thinking were cool at some point in your life? Oh, the cringe. So check out part two soon or right now, right there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.